Wake up, Mr. Alex. Wakey, wakey, eggs and steaky. Oh, no. I'm having that dream again. Ah, uh, this is no dream, my friend. King Julian is alive and well and taking pictures for our new brochure, Madagascar. Why not give King Julian your vacation money? Yeah, sure. Sounds great. But I need to catch some shut-eye before the big trip back to New York. No! No shut eyes! Now run, jump, do whatever I tell you to do if you want to make the cover. Way to go, Alex! Melman, where did you come from? And how did you get on top of that boulder? None of these questions have anything to do with pictures I want to take, so I suggest you stop talking and we move on. Hey, can I come with you guys? I have some... <laughs> yes, yes, that is the spirit, Melman. Now let us proceed forward. Now, you must get ready to grab these very handsome King Julian coins scattered throughout the island. Besides just the general warm feeling that wealth gives you, these coins can be used to buy merchandise at the duty-free shop. How do I get to the duty-free? I'll show you later. Now double jump to grab this coin and hurry. Whoa, Marty, you've got some serious wheels there. You don't know this, but I've been scarfing down carrots day and night, crunch, 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 in an effort to develop a super-fast sprint ability. Go ahead, buddy. Clock me. Oh, you're pretty fast, Marty, but I bet you can't catch me! Come on now, Mort. Ain't no way a little squirt can outrun a thoroughbred like me. Many things about Mort do not make sense, and one is that he can run like the wind. Why don't you two give us a spectacular race? Go! Congratulations! I knew Mort would lose. Now the winner gets to kick his favorite soccer ball. Hey! Quiet, you. So, Marty, some of my careless Lima subjects found the royal stash of balloons and are now stuck floating in the air like topes. Will you please pop the balloons and rescue them? Oh, happy accident! Thank you, Mr. Marty! You are my hero! Nice job, Marty. Now, stand back and watch how it's supposed to be done. What are you trying to say, Alex? I ain't got no game? No, I'm saying that you don't have any game. Okay, okay, you angry giants can trash speak on the soccer field. But now, I need some more photos of Alex. Ah! Uh, my royal rocks! Put them down, fancy chickens! Please, scare those cuckoo birds away from my beloved rocks! Now! Ha! I did it! Birds be gone! Help! Birds be back! Oh, Mr. Alex, your reward for chasing away the birdies is a fantastic ride on a zip vine. Jump up high and really hang on, or you'll fall off and land on your behind. You did very well, but unfortunately, you are not a hippo. I need photos of Miss Gloria now. I will find her, then meet you at the soccer field. Wish me happy hippo hunting. Oh, Gloria, it is good to see that you can now swim. Too bad you are not as fast as I am. You? A lemur? Swimming in a lake? I find that hard to believe. Well, I find it hard to believe that you find it hard to believe. And you're right, I have a boat. Uh-oh. A boulder is now blocking the top of the walkway. Why do these things keep happening? How about I grab that pepper and break through the boulder to clear the path? Hey, that is an excellent idea that I came up with. Hey, you found it good for you and good for me for guiding you. You want me to jump really high so you can snap a picture, right? Yes, yes! As high as the tips of your friend Melman's pointy ears or the moon, whichever comes first. Oh, Miss Gloria, I have just been made aware of a very strange and ridiculous situation. Have you seen your friend Mailman? Uh, isn't that Mailman hanging from the ledge? Mailman? Oh, thank goodness you are here. We need you and your heli-gliding abilities. It is a matter of utmost importance. Utmost importance? Are you sure you want me for the job? Yes. As you can see, many of my royal subjects are currently floating in mid-air when they really should be on the ground licking my toes. We need you to glide around and rescue them. Marty, this is your last warning. You'll never be able to score a goal with me in the box. 
That's why they used to call me the Wall. Who? Who used to call you the Wall? You never even played soccer. You were calling it land foosball five minutes ago. It's the same basic principle, Marty. You kick the ball, you block the ball, you spin around in somersaults. Guys, guys, please. As far as I'm concerned, you're both full of it. So why don't you stop talking and play? Quite good, Mr. Marty. But now I want to play a full game of soccer. I will pick a teammate that will even things out. Mort? Sure, bring it on, little man. Tell us how to play. And just to show you how confident we are, I'll barely listen. Well, I won't even give you an explanation then. Many thanks to all who helped make this brochure. Now one last picture of us, and it's off to the printer. Oh, my goodness! Explosions again! Just when you thought it was safe to go back into the jungle. Boom! Not safe. Look, sir! It's a mole! And he's stealing parts of the plane! Well, of course he is, Maurice. What else do you expect them all to do? They have very boring lives. But don't we need those parts for the plane to actually fly us back to New York? Hmm, that is a good point. And I have a good idea. You, mailman, are you going to be the one to stop those moles from stealing our parts? Uh, it's mailman. Oh, Gloria, thank goodness you're here. I feel a favor coming on. It's this luggage. King Julian has a tendency to overpack. Stuff he doesn't even need, like hay. Who packs hay? And now I can't even get these suitcases closed. Lucky for you, I know just how to deal with it. I've got a butt bounce move that will shut those things, but good. Why, thank you very much, Miss Gloria. Your butt has saved my precious hay. Now I still need to load my suitcases onto the plane. Luckily, I have found the perfect man for the job. He means me, Mort. Why, yes, it is Marty. Mort, I am not even sure why you are still standing there. Mr. Marty, why don't you use that big, sturdy kick of yours to start loading the luggage? All right. Now, let's hope nobody notices those dents and hoof marks all over their suitcase. Nice going, Marty. I'm heading topside now. Come on up when you're ready. <laughs> Okay, mailman. I now would like you to use your amazing climbing abilities. I don't have any amazing climbing abilities, and the name is Melman, not Mailman. I'm pretty sure it's Mailman. The one that can do all of the climby flippy business. I think you're talking about me. Well, whoever I'm talking about, please get up to those platforms and help secure those ropes. Alex, just tie the ropes together quickly so I'm not stuck down here with a guy who keeps trying to buy stamps off me. You would really enjoy balancing on this beam, unless you fall off. To avoid this tragic scenario, push left or right to balance yourself as you walk. The faster you walk, the faster you lose balance. Hooray for you, you reach the ropes we need you to tie. Now please repeat the patterns to tie the knot. Repeat the patterns to tie the knot. Don't repeat what I just said. Repeat the button patterns below, you crazy kitty. That is it, Mr. Alex. A knot to be proud of. But there are more knots in need of your handiwork. Go find them. Ah, oh, yes. Excellent knotting. Now all of the ropes are secure. It is a pity your friend Mailman is not here to see your major accomplishment. Where did he go? Mailman will never have a smooth takeoff without a smooth runway. And we'll never have a smooth runway with those rivets sticking up. We need you to pound them down. Uh, I'm still a little dizzy and nauseous from the mole experience. Well, this ought to fix you right up then. All you need to do is use your head, or use your head, or use your head. Why do you keep repeating that? It's called a hint, Einstein. You need to use your head bash ability. Press the special button near a rivet, and you'll see what I mean. Oh, thank goodness you are here. I cannot tell you how important it is that we test out the aiming system on this slingshot. That important, huh? I said I cannot tell you how important it is. I wish you giant freaks would listen. Anyway, before we launch the plane, we need to make sure our aiming system works, and to do that, you need to shoot Mort from this slingshot. Me? 
There is no one else I trust to be flung through the air at such high and dangerous speed. Yay! That was very satisfying indeed. I could watch that over and over and over and... Playtime is over, pal. We gotta get these vines in locked position. We are ready to launch the plane. Well, I suppose there are only so many times we can shoot Mort out of a tree before it loses its meaning. But how will you get these vines stretched all the way back? I can help you out with that, provided you have some peppers. We do. I'll have my most steady throwing subject toss them. But I warn you, he's not so steady. Good work, troops. With that vine in position, we're prepared for launch. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Where am I? San Diego? Melman, oh, calm down, buddy. What happened? Oh, our plane crashed. <laughs> Alex, we're alive! Or at least it feels the same. Yeah, but alive where? We couldn't have made it back to New York already. You're right. And I don't see any neon signs telling us where we are. I know. Let's ask somebody who lives here. If they don't know where they live, who does? Good idea, Marty. I'll try and find someone. You stay here with the others. Oh, I'm coming with you, Alex! Whoa. What do you suppose that is, Melman? Hmm, I'm gonna guess something terrible, Alex. Oh, come on. They could be friendly for all we know. <laughs> or not. Hey, there's a few too many of those pincher guys for me to deal with today. You want in on this, Melman? You, you're kidding, right? I'm not touching them. Maybe you won't have to. Glide over to that platform where you can fling durians at them. I bet scorpions don't like to get pelted with fruit. Who does? Nice going, Melman! You could fling durians as a profession, you know? <sighs> I doubt they pay fruit flingers enough to make it worth it. Ow! What is it? Ah, uh, it's my rotator cuff. I wonder if fruit flingers get health benefits. You know, I'm gonna stay here and rest a while. I'll catch up to you soon. All right, you rest that cuff. I'll see ya. Oh, here's someone who might be of some help. <coughs> nope, wrong again. <coughs> Melman! <coughs> I was starting to worry that you'd gotten lost or something. I did get lost many, many times. Did you find anyone who lives here so we can find out where we are? Not a one. Well, not one who didn't want to eat or poison me. But let's see what's up there. Oh, you expect me to go up there, right? I don't expect it. But it would be nice since you're the nicest giraffe I know. So it looks like I need to knock that boulder onto that vent. It should be pretty painless, even for me. Oh, more boulders and vents. Why didn't I pack my inhaler? Hey, Melman! You made it! There's our big brave guy! Good to see you, buddy! Oh, how? How did you... How did you guys get here? Would you believe there ended up being another path? Oh, another path! So I risked my neck and back rolling around on that giant boulder, and now you're saying you found another path? The important thing is we're all together. Oh, and that you stopped screaming. Yes, well, did you at least find out where the heck we are? No, but I got a feeling we'll get our answer over there. Wow. Would you look at that view? At least we can't say we crashed our plane in an ugly place. Finally, an opportunity to say, crack a lack it. Yep, we landed smack dab in the middle of paradise. I don't know. I've got a weird feeling in the pit of my stomach. I have a strange feeling, too. Although it's definitely different than yours. It's almost like I've been here before. What's with all the chit-chat, girls? You know we've got a plane to fix. Now scare up some tools so we can get this birdie airborne. We need something to get through that fence over there. You got a pair of wire cutters on you? Oh, yeah, sure. I never go anywhere without them. Oops, till today. Kaboom! Kaboom! Sorry, Rico, but we're not gonna be blowing anything up today. 
Now, the sooner you find me something to cut through this fence, the sooner we get off this island. Fucking Brende, wire cutters. They have cameras just laying on the ground here. What's next? TVs and trees? Marty, check out this camera I found on the ground. Beats the heck out of a lucky penny. Boom! Now we can get some photos of me with the natives. You know, proof we were here for dudes back home. <laughs> some guys like the badonka donk. But me, I like the badonka donk. A uh, donk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, hi, nice to meet you. I I'm mean, Alex. sweet cheeks. Even your curves have curves. <laughs> Sheesh, get a cave, you two. Oh, they hippos. These are gonna be way better than my other vacation photos. Since this is my first vacation. This ain't no vacation, Stripes. It's about survival. Now I need that camera for parts so we can replace the plane's warning light. Rico, develop the film. Kowalski, you just stand there and look busy. love following me around. I wonder how I can make them work for me instead of stinging me. Bees! Can't stand bees! Okay, I'd better get these cutters to the penguins before they get mad and get all penguiny on me. Fantastico! You found the wire cutters. Hear that, boys? Start snipping and we'll reconnoiter on the other side. Finally, some parts to steal. I mean, uh, choir. Hmm. Those guards look like they mean business. This guy thinks he's tough, but the old slide and chop will take him down just like the rest. Ah, oh, good idea. Where'd it go? It looks like he might get caught. Just pop behind those rocks, and that log's covered. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Blast it, more guards. And they've spotted us. We need to eliminate them, pronto! You burned your stripes! Now let's follow this road back to the wildlife center. Yes, sir! Rico, you think you can scare up a set of wire cutters? I got a gut feeling that canine's gonna cause us some problems. Eureka! A genuine treasure trove of parts! Private, I expect you to come back with the goods. That dog sure is an onion in the ointment. You know what I mean? See? We all had a good laugh, but Rico swallowed that can opener. But now it looks like it might come in handy. Rico? <laughs> Would you look at all the great stuff in here? Well, maybe it's not that great, but we could probably use it for the plane. Let's get to work, boys. Get those trucks loaded up. I'll be out in a few minutes. Give or take a few minutes. Oh, no. We might need to abort this mission. If that guy comes out here, he'll blow our cover. Skipper, I can use my fishing training here, too. Give it a shot, Private. We're all counting on you. I hope you can feel the pressure. Now I do. Nice job, Private. Keep this up and you'll get that promotion I've been hanging over your head for years. Peyton, we just need to get rid of the guards first, and here's how we're gonna do it. See that croc, Private? Find a way to let him out of his pen and watch the hilarity ensue. Just don't fall down. That would be bad. Mm. Aye, aye, Skipper. We've hit Vader, boys. Those trucks are loaded with supplies. All we have to do is steal them, and then blow this popsicle stand. Skipper. Kowalski, 
Give me the damage report on this vehicle. I'd say she'll drive just fine. After I mount these wheels, we'll be ready to rock and roll. Excellente! Now let's get this show on the road. Uh-oh. That dim-witted guard over there may be trouble again. Okay, Private, here's how it's gonna go down. Rico and I'll blast this guy. You just need to show us where to lob the soda cans. Oh. How am I gonna do that, Skipper? Just move the aiming cursor, and when you're ready to launch a can, press the action button. Can you handle it, Private? Or will you let down your entire unit? Again. Lob soda cans at the guards. We need to remember how to drive in about three seconds to catch up with those trucks. The gate! Hold on to your flippers. Excellente. You know what to do now. Uh, what? Chase that convoy. There they are, boys. Those trucks have buku parts. We'll be using to fix the plane. Uh, Skipper, how are we going to get those buku? That's the last of it. Great job. I think you know what to do next, right? Um, not exactly, sir. You gotta go back and pick up the cargo. Oh, right. The cargo. Can't forget that, even though I just did. <laughs> I'll turn around right now. Ten four. Ten for what? Hey, looks like we got someone else for the big race. Sure. I wonder if he can run fast. He looks like us, and we can run fast. Although, I am the fastest. I don't know. Where I come from, I'm pretty fast. I'm the fastest, too. Just ask him over there. What? Did someone say my name? Was this concerning bees? It had better not be. Where am I? Race, race, race. You did it, Marty. You really showed us something out there and have now officially earned our respect. Thanks, man. Wait, are you being sarcastic? Not very much. Why don't you hang out with us a while and bask in our acceptance? Sure, why not? Alex, you go on ahead. I'll catch up to you in a bit. Oh, okay, sure. Who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky and fit in with some other lion peeps. Hey, Millman, how's the wild treating you? Oh, terrible. Look at all those sick giraffes. Low resistance must run in the species. Sick giraffes are not good for the tourist trade. I know. We trade them for tourists. I am a genius. Aye, the pain. If only the great healer would come along and use the X-ray scanamulator to cure us. <laughs> Mailman, why don't you use the X-ray scanamulator? Whatever to cure them, you know? Then they'll have no choice but to love you for helping them and worship me for telling you to do it. Let's go! Hey, wait a minute. Is that...? No, it couldn't be. Still, I've got to get up there and find out for sure. Look, everybody! That guy's different than us! Let's tease him! Don't tease me. I just think that... I know how this sounds, but that line up there looks like my dad. Shut up! Now we're gonna tease you and throw fruit! No! You shut up! Wait, you told me to shut up first, right? Uh, excuse me, sir, but don't I know you from somewhere? Alec, eh? Uh, right. Alex, actually. You don't remember, do you? You were born here, but disappeared when you were a cub. Disappeared? What are you, like my father or something? Dad! Son, welcome back to the Pride. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you say welcome back to the Pride, he must prove himself in the rites of passage. We must test his powers. So the first thing every adult lion needs to know is how to round up lion cubs. Now you should see what one of these cubs looks like. Uh... Hi there, little guy. No waving, start rounding. Okay, jerk. What? Bravo, Alex, bravo. But don't be too pleased with yourself. You're still a long way from becoming a real lion. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm a real lion already. Tell it to the wall. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Mr. Wall, I... No, no, no. 
I mean you have to climb the wall. All the way to the top. Now, you've mastered cub finding and basic wall climbing, but it's time for the true test. That wasn't a true test? Then what was it? More like a pop quiz. Now, this next rite is something that every lion must know. Our most sacred ritual, musical chairs. You're kidding. I never kid about rituals, or chairs, or anything. You did it! Son, you have proven ultimate strength and stamina at musical chairs. But, but, but not so fast, Erzuba. There are still more rights to this passage. Like wall climbing. Like I did that one. Short-term memory going there, Makunga? No, my naive friend. While you did climb one wall, it was more like a small fence compared to this one. And oh yeah, we're also going to drop large things on your head while you climb. Enjoy. Well done, Alex. I'll bet you're feeling pretty proud of yourself, aren't you? Do I have to listen to you anymore? Now let's see how well you compete in the greatest ego-crushing game of all time, dodgeball. See that we've been going easy on you, Alex. I think I've been too nice. To be too nice? Wouldn't you have to be nice first? Ah, uh, you have your father's feistiness. But it will take more than witty sarcasm to conquer the obstacle course. That was amazing, son. Only a couple of rites of passage left, and I'm sure you'll master them. The father knows these things. I'm sure you'll master them. <laughs> well, I hate to interrupt this bonding moment, but it's time to introduce you to nature's cruelest mistake, the dreaded durian fruit. Oh, we've been introduced. As a matter of fact, I can't seem to escape the durian. And you won't today, either. Just try to be the last lion standing at hot durian. You fools! How could you let this city boy beat you? Because this is no ordinary city boy. He's my city boy. Yeah. What was your name again? Zuba, son. Zuba? Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, I wouldn't celebrate yet. There's still one more right left, and it's the hardest of them all. Let me guess. Hopscotch? Oh, that's not a bad one. No, no. It's the dreaded Canyon Quest, where only the bravest and strongest lions can make it all the way to the top. To the top! Now scream your catchphrase out over the canyon for all to hear, loud and proud. Oh, yeah, the catchphrase. Um, how about... I, I like, like soup? Oh, no. What? That's your catchphrase? What did you expect, putting me on the spot like that? Well, I'm afraid that simply isn't going to cut it. There's no way we can give you the hat of victory after I like soup. Oh, come on! Dad! I'm afraid he's right, son. You may have completed this right, but without a strong catchphrase, you must wear the hat of shame. The hat of shame? Oh, man. All right, I'll take it. Is it cool if I wear this while I go check on my friends? Well, it's not cool, it's totally dorky, but I'll be right back, okay? Hello, my friend. Welcome to my latest kingdom. This is your latest kingdom? It is indeed. It is beautiful, no? I took a vote, and it was unanimously agreed upon that I would be the new ruler of this very watering hole. A vote, huh? I suppose it bears mentioning that His Majesty was the only one who voted. Yes, yes, whatever. The point is that now that I am king, I cannot have riffraff swimming around, bringing down property values, eating people, etc., etc. They also don't seem to be letting anyone else in the water. What? Oh, no, 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 no. It's time for Gloria's bath, and that attitude isn't going to fly. Let's give these guys the boot. Now just press the action button when you want me to lob fruit at these reptile interlopers. We got all the other guys, but we need to Miss take Gloria? out their leader Enjoy. to get rid of them Enjoy. all. King Julian is pleased. Now, with the successful relocation of the riffraff, I can enjoy a lovely mango. Mmm, that was pretty fine, baby. Well, I am the king, you know. I was talking to the lady. Thank you for the compliment, Modo. There's plenty more where that came from. How about I take you to check out my 
secret underwater crib. Sure, why not? Lead the way. Now follow me, baby, and stay close. Real close. Before I take you to my crib, I want to pick up some pearls and make a necklace for the hippo I love the most. Oh, that's very sweet. Hey, how come I can hear you perfectly underwater? Must be because you're so fine, girl. So these pearls, uh, I pick them up myself, but it turns out I'm allergic to clamshells. Could you shuck them out for me, honey buns? Mighty fine pearls. Now, if you pick up that pepper, bust through that barrier, you'll be one step closer to my pad. What do you say, my voluptuous vixen? I say that the gentlemanly thing to do is eat the pepper and bust through the barrier yourself. Oh, you know I would, Cream Puffs, if I weren't allergic to peppers. You've got to be kidding me. Your mother raised you wrong. Okay, now check this out. We got another boulder to break, but first, you need to get the green peppers from the Crocs. Let me guess. You do it, but you're allergic to Crocs. No, baby. I just like to watch. Ugh. <laughs> you are good. Now I'm just gonna lay the peppers out in a row so you can follow the chain to the boulder. And know that I will follow you anywhere. I haven't seen you swimming in these parts before. Who are you? Oh, hi. I'm, uh, Gloria. Say, have you guys seen Moto Moto around here? He was right behind me. Oh, really? He's usually right behind me. Or me. It's his favorite view, you know. Although I don't see what he sees in her skinny booty. Hold on there. Who you calling skinny? Okay. Staying out of this one. Guess I'll see you ladies later. Bye. 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 Gloria, sweet cheeks. I knew you wanted some of this. Some of what? You disappeared on me. Yet here I am. It's your lucky day, baby bottoms. You're gonna get to check out what a smooth operator I am on the high dive. I don't know. You'd have to be pretty smooth to impress me. Watch me, baby. Welcome to my garden. <laughs> or what would be a garden if it weren't so dry. Well, have you ever considered trying to water it? Interesting point. Maybe you could help me. Welcome to Juicy Juicy. A game where you lucky ladies compete for the ultimate prize. Me. Juicy Juicy? That name doesn't make any sense. And did you just call yourself the ultimate prize? Oh, big and smart. Okay, okay. So you've whet my appetite. What do I need to do? Quite simply, my lovely lady. You just need to be the first to collect a number of fruit and look good doing it. Which won't be a problem for you. Now let's get it on. Another win for me. It's like I'm on a roll. Let's keep it rolling for Miss Gloria. Sure was some fine fruit collecting, baby. Thanks. So when do I get that FaceTime with the ultimate prize? Yeah, soon, baby. Real soon. Moto's just gotta take care of a few things. A little bit of business. You just hold tight and I'll be right back. Tell you what. I'm gonna check this place out a bit, and why don't you catch up with me when you're done with this business of yours? Hey, do you like bowling? Well, I've actually never... Great! See if you can beat my score. If you do, you'll get a coin. I'm all about the coins. But where's the ball? You're looking at it. Or you would be if you were me looking at you. Roll at those pins using your tumble move. Hey, Glorilicious. 
very impressive form out there, and I ain't talking about bowling. Mm. Glad you like it. Hey, whatever happened to that necklace you promised me? Look, I gotta be straight with you. That necklace was for me. The next one I pick up can be yours, though. Okay. There's something about that Moto Moto I don't trust. Besides his smooth talking and good looks, what does Gloria possibly see in him? Perhaps, Renrin, you are lovesick for her? Well, yeah, I do feel a little queasy now that you mention it. Then you should tell Miss Gloria about your feelings. If not, you will most likely puke them up. Well, first, I have to get Gloria away from Moto Moto. Hmm. Oh, wait, I've got an idea. And the camera. What if you followed him around and took pictures of his dirty deeds? Me? I can't believe you asked me. How did you know I would take pleasure in doing something like that? Thank you. Be careful not to let him see you. And if he does see you, this conversation never happened. We were just talking about whatever happened to Mark. Well, you were talking about that, Maurice. I wasn't really listening. Hope he's hanging in there. Can't we talk about something else? It is not like Mort has ever done anything interesting. As a matter of fact, he went right through this path I am standing next to. He went to a scary volcano? Yes, although he might not have known that. I put up the sign after he had already left. Melman, wait, please! Look, I'm so sorry about what I said back there. You were just trying to look out for me, and I really care about... You! Right. I care about you, and... Hey, baby. Why'd you bounce so soon? Oh, look at Mr. Smooth Talker here. Well, you know, I'm a smooth talker, too. In fact, I'm a smoother talker. Yes, I can tell you are. Now that I've heard you flap your lips, how good are you at shaking your hips? Huh? Well, what in the world are you talking about? I'm challenging you to a dance contest, fool. Since I am the master, I will teach you first how we can get this dance party started. Oh, uh, but we need a judge. <laughs> you want to be the judge? <laughs> Looks like we got a judge. It's time to get down. Congrats, Melman. Man, you can shake it. Yeah, I just imagined myself with a bad case of the hiccups. Don't get so excited, Slim. That was just the first round. Let's see if you really got skills. Well. Ah! Oh, I took it easy on you. But if you ever want a rematch, I'll be right here. I can't believe it, Melman! Where have you been hiding that all this time? I don't know, but now that it's out, I'm not sure I can put it back. I wouldn't want you to. In fact, I wouldn't want you to change anything about yourself. Cause I love everything about you. Cause I love you, Melman. You do? I, I, I mean, I love you too, Gloria! Wow, that's the first time I've told you that when you weren't asleep. <laughs> Um, now might be a good time to walk off into the sunset together. You've done it. Now we have enough monkeys to start repairs. Follow them to the repair site and supervise their work. I don't know if we can trust them. They can be cheeky little monkeys.
You're here just in time. I need someone to pilot our first flying prototype. Hey, you're not part of this operation. What are you doing in my copter? What kind of selfish king would I be if I allowed my loyal subjects to take this inaugural test flight? Besides, the seat has been constructed in such a way that no one but me could fit in it. Blah, blah, blah. You got a point there. Let's light this candle. You can steer this bird using the regular movement controls. Then hold down the jump button to get more monkey-powered lift. See that target, kid? See it? Good. Now try and land there. Please, do it gently! He, uh, was some first-class flying. Proud of you, son. Consider phase one of my plan complete. Phase one? Just how many phases are we talking about? Two or like two zillion? That's an excellent question, and one that can only be solved by you bringing me more monkeys. So why don't you and your hippie friends hop to it? Okay, I've seen monkeys on land, monkeys on trees, but monkeys on strike? Yep, this is a first. Well, there's no positive spin I can put on this one, troops. These monkeys won't work, and we need to finish the last job they were working on. In other words, we need you. Me? Why me? The, the last time I picked up a hammer was to check my own reflexes. I figure you're a Section 8. A little nutso. So, you won't mind climbing up on that boulder and using it to crush that junk into smaller, easy-to-carry pieces now, would you? Just been informed that those rhinos over there don't seem to want this junk crushed. My suggestion? Avoid those horn noses at all costs. Why, hello again, old chap. It appears that some of the monkey workers have developed a bizarre fascination with the game of chance. To try it, it will cost you one coin. You could win the jackpot. Best of luck to you. <laughs> Yes, indeed, that's been really good. Gentle monkeys, now that our labor dispute has been settled and you have your new contract, I expect you all to go back to work. <laughs> indeed, that is good news. And according to your contract, everyone here is now technically a supervisor. Everyone, of course, except Clem. You, son, need to flip over these airplane parts, matching up each pair, while we all sit here, have a spot of tea, and supervise you. Excellent sorting, monkey man. You, go out and find me more guys like him, and we'll finally get this bird fixed. As part of our new deal with the... 99, 100. Good work. Now this bird should be up and running. Attention, creatures. Something unexpected and unfun has happened to my new kingdom. Maurice, show them. All the water in the watering hole is dried up. Do you like the picture? I took it myself. I'm available for weddings and birthday parties. Someone must have dammed it up. But who would build a dam? Maybe we'll have to go up there and get a good look around. Well, we've got a working plane now, so what are we waiting for? Let's fly! Now that we've dammed up this lake, those mangy creatures on the nature preserve will be forced to find a new watering hole and leave this area for us. Well, I just hope they don't figure out that we did it and find our camp. Well, what's the matter? You afraid of a few lions and hippos and zebras? Well, uh, yeah. Be quiet, both of you. It doesn't matter anyway because those fur balls will never even find our camp. You think you're pretty smart, huh? You hell, I have a plan to fix your wagon. But what about us? First order of business, we take out their HQ. Drop smash the chain of chimps into those huts. Now the tourists want to fix their huts. Don't let them. Stop them from getting logs by smashing their log pile. What the? Gorski, status report. Uh, strange objects appear to be exploding around the plane. Sir. That much I gathered. Private? Take a while. Careless turn and get us out of here. Whoa! 
Take that, you rotten flea bags. Oh, no, it's that horrible little old lady again. I gotta stop her from beaning us with those balloon bombs. Okay, now that's gotta be it. I wonder how the gang's doing up there. Not us, Skipper. The bombs seem to be all gone. That is the best news I've heard all day. What do we have down there, Kowalski? I'd say some water, a bridge, people, and oh, there's the dam, sir. That's our target, man. First order of business. Deploy a little recon. I can help you guys out here. I love the water, and the water loves... something up. I don't like the looks of this kid. What's Nan up to here? For her sake, I hope she's fastened those logs on her raft. Nope, she didn't. Now let's evaluate the situation. We built a plane, destroyed a dam, Refilled the watering hole and sent an old lady down the river. I'd say that's one heck of a day. Hey, don't forget I was reunited with my long-lost father. And I realized the perfect man was right next to me the whole time. Oh, you mean me? Well, I don't know if I'm perfect, but lately my sciences have been clear. Just be happy, Melman. You got the girl. I think we got a lot to celebrate. So let's party!